Emma and today I am doing my June favorites 2013. I cannot believe it's already July. This month went so fast. I got out of school this month and which is just so awesome. But I have to start reading two books and I haven't started either yet so probably should get on that. But I also uh, went to a Kesha and Pitbull concert which was really cool. I went to Orlando and Chicago for volleyball tournaments and it's just been a really good month overall and I'm really sad that it's over because that means that pretty much basically a month of summer is over for me. And I jump right in right now with beauty favorites because that's probably why you're watching this video. So first off, I'll start in with like, you know, foundations because then I'll move into everything else. So i am really been loving the Bare, or like not the Bare Minerals, the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free. And this part over here, it's a 1 and 2. This side is the uh, actual like color that will uh, correct my skin and this is an illuminator. So it's a really cool process. It, uh, you know, makes my skin look really glowy but it also covers and you know, gives really good coverage. I don't like liquid foundation but I probably will get used to it a little better like in the fall time when, and I'll show you guys that routine when I do use it but in the summertime I just like to use a light powder and this stuff is really good and I've been using it for a really long time so I really trust it and I would really recommend it it doesn't make me break out in any way it doesn't clog my pores and you don't really need a lot which is really good so I would really recommend this stuff and I also been loving this MAC mineralized skin finish in corn fort and I pre I'm pretty sure this is um, discontinued, but I know a lot of people have the uh, soft and gentle one. A lot of people do, but this stuff is gorgeous, and I will show you a little swatch. Look at that. It's really pretty. It's great as a highlight, and I've been using it for a really long time now as well. I think I got it last year, and, you know, I always like to try my products and test them out and make sure that they're good uh, before I tell you what I think about them because I want it to be true, and I want it to be something that, you know, you'll get really, um, you'll get really good information from it. And then I've also been loving this Bella Bomba blush by Benefit, and it looks like this. And this is the travel size or like a like tester. I got it at Sephora when I had like a lot of points to do and I have been using this for probably a year now because my birthday was last year in August and my you know it's June now and it, I haven't even hit pan yet people. It's really good and I love the color it gives off. I'm wearing it today if you can tell. I'm also wearing both of these today. So um I really like the color it gives off and it stays on all day and it, it's really pigmented so I really like that as well. And then for lips, I have a decent amount of stuff. <laughs> I have the Nivea Lip Butters and Strawberry Electric 48 was talking about these last month. I have the uh, Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss as well but uh, it's downstairs and I don't really feel like getting it and I hate when people say that on YouTube but I'm saying it today. Uh, but these are so amazing. They're really thick, or not like really thick, but they're a good thickness that they stay on and last a really long time and moisturize my lips for super long. I love this stuff and it smells so good. This is the Caramel Cream Kiss and this is the Raspberry Rosé Kiss. And I literally have had this maybe for two or three weeks and I'm just in love with this stuff. It's amazing and I totally recommend it. And other two lip products that have color, uh, I really like the Wet n Wild Lipstick in Breeze. You can't see that, but this is the color. And I'm wearing this today, if you can tell. And I will give you a swatch. That is what it looks like. And it has a really pretty pinkish nude color. And that's why I picked it out in the first place. And I really like the color of it. So that's why I tried it out and um, I really like it. I think it goes well with my skin tone. And then I also love the Baby Lips Pink Punch Lip Balm. And it has a really pretty pink color. It goes really good with my skin tone as well. And uh, I've just really loved this stuff and it does a really good job with moisturizing. And my last two beauty products would be the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in Black Brown. And it just looks like this. And it gives um, a pretty, yeah, gives a good line. Um, 
I use this as my waterline because I don't like to use black because I think it's a little harsh for especially for like my skin tone and uh, I think it works really well it defines my eyes really well and uh, this one's the Mega Length Mascara and it's waterproof and it's by Wet n Wild and it looks the brush is like this and I love that it's so small because it really gets in and gets every lash and doesn't fully it doesn't overly coat them and make them really clumpy I don't know if you can see my lashes today but this is what they look like and they're not clumpy at all. I don't really need to put much on. I don't like wearing too much mascara. So uh, this stuff is really good. And uh, I, my mom bought it and then I stole it from her. And I've been using it for a really long time. I don't know if you would consider this like a beauty favorite or not. But I wanted to include it in there because I really like the smell for summer. And it's the Carried Away uh, Triple Moisture Body Cream by Bath & Body Works. And... I'm awful at describing scents like every other beauty guru says, and uh, but this says it has vanilla, white jasmine, and raspberries, and if you've smelled this, you probably know what it smells like, and it is awesome. It's perfect for spring and summer, and it's kind of strong, but I love it, and it's like fresh flowers, and it's awesome, and I would totally recommend it. If you want a really good summer scent, my feet hurt so bad from like sitting up on them, so I'm just gonna suck it up, you know? Uh, and then, this is like a random favorite, but I've been traveling a lot this summer, and I really need to know what I'm packing. So this is like a little pack this, and it has every category you would need to know what you need to bring on vacation. I've been going on vacations, especially for volleyball. Went to Chicago and Orlando, like I said. And it has, like, sections. So this is basics. This is the miscellaneous, the clothes, and the hygiene. And it just gives you everything you need, um and everything you would uh, need to bring, and it gives you the quantity you would, should bring, or and it just literally everything. It even says like destination, special events, the days, and the local weather, and I've been using this a lot because I've been traveling, and it helps me uh, make the list of what I wanna bring. And then, I think I only have two more things. Yeah, I do. Um, I've been loving infinity scarves. If you own an infinity scarf, you need to wear them more. I just made it move. Uh, it. I love infinity scarves so much because they just they cover your neck. Well, you don't. I don't need to cover my neck. I have nothing to hide. Um, but and I just think that they're so cute and I love this pattern. And I have about two, three, maybe three or four infinity scarves and I want more. But I love thick ones, especially for winter. But um, I think that like the colorful ones are really cute in the uh, in the summer as well when it's a little colder out and I really love infinity scarves. And last but not least, I've just been overly obsessed like every single other girl in America with Vera Bradley. I think Vera Bradley is so pretty. Um, it has I, in the beginning, like a long time ago, I thought Vera Bradley was really ugly. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. But I've just gotten so into it ever since I got in high school. This is like a cosmetic bag that I use. It's supposed to be like a pencil bag, but I use it for cosmetics, for like my brushes. And it holds a lot. Like I think it holds a decent amount. And it's such a pretty pattern. And I always get stuff on sale because I always go to the outlets. Uh, I got this while I was in California once. And uh, I have like three of these. I uh, I think three, yeah, three or two, I don't know. But I also have this uh, bag as well. And I have a lot more, but I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that I had. Um, and I like all the patterns. I'm not super into pink, but I like this bag because um, it holds a lot and I use it to go over sleepovers. So those are my June favorites for 2013. I hope you enjoyed and I would love you to comment or leave a video response with your June favorites because I love watching those. And I have nothing else to say. So I will see you in my next video, which should be soon. And I love you.